Hi everybody, it's day 86 and I wanted to just continue on with this. So today's um, challenge is English cottages or English interiors of cottages. And so I've just got a couple of things to add in because I didn't really finish the collaging. Um, there's a, always a free website somewhere where you can download some images. Just get my little punch. <clears throat> everyone is well today. Uh, I'm not too bad. <clears throat> Just had a bit of a cough. I'm supposed to go out to visit a friend this week who is in dire need of some one to visit for his mental health and uh, turns out there's COVID at the shopping centre and he just went to the shopping centre so uh, during the week and so there's been a case so now I don't I don't know what to do this is now we're in that moment now of moral dilemmas do you do your duty of care to yourself if you're higher risk of course the answer is yes but how does that make you feel about your duty of care to your friends who are in need so this is a hard one for me hard for me to put myself first and if someone else is in need I'll drop everything and go and help them there's a little cottage how cute is that <laughs> um, yes so it's a worry isn't it it's a real worry just putting some I think this looks like possibly juniper reminds me of England, English gardens, English plants. Slowly filling this all up. I put all the uh, cards in so I knew I had enough. <clears throat> now the reason that I ripped this in half here is because with this constant fold I thought it's probably better to do that. So I'll do the same here. <clears throat> I'm giving it a double whammy. <laughs> I'm doing the glue to glue around the outside and the glue stick around the in inside. Probably overkill in that instant with such a little bit of paper.
So as much as I want to go out and visit, I think I'm going to have to just buckle down and it's just unfortunate. Really, isn't it? I'm reminded of last time that we had the uh, lockdown here where there were really no cases at all and we were um, really just trying to avoid getting any cases. But now the lockdown is because there's a lot of cases and escalating cases and <clears throat> it's very real now. And the thing is, you know what I'd like? I'd like to accidentally a boyfriend <laughs> and being in lockdown. Because, you know, wouldn't that be nice? But I, it's one of those things. When you're on your own and you have to be isolated, I don't know, some of my friends are saying they'd, they'd rather their partners weren't necessarily there. <laughs> I don't know, I think it would be nice. Um, that little bird, here's this little bird. How cute is this little bird? Reminds me of an English garden. Well, it's supposed to be English cottages, but I... I, I diversified as you do as I do well, that's, that's a bit full on don't know what's going on with the glue here at my place today 50,000 different varieties the tacky glue was a bit crap in the little bottle I put it into so now I've got to Work out what I'm doing with that. Decanting it back into the big bottle. Maybe I'll find... Oh, I know. I, I've, I did get one of those um, icing ones. I'll put it into one of those and see how it goes. I found a little good morning, wishing you a day full of joyful moments. And I'm putting that right here. I like that. Or here even. Because this, this paper is... A bit rippable so it's going to be harder to get your card in and out but I did a bigger hole there so it's, anyway, that, this is going to um, secure it gonna just can't get that out of my vocabulary gonna 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 Good morning. I like that lemon against my leaves there. Very nice. Alright, where are we up to? Ooh. Alright, so I thought um I'll just take that out for a minute. This reminded me of when, we, when I was looking at English cottages or the interiors of English cottages, I thought about hanging up the herbs that hang up from the, you know, from the ceiling. Can't come down too much or it covers the window. Um, my ruler. just punching another hole to stick around it really
can just use little scraps and bits to fill in the gaps. Still got part of the design there. Now the other thing I thought about was cup of tea. As you know, <laughs> I am British, believe it or not, even though I was, I was born in England. And uh, I came out to Australia when I was two, so I've been here for not even telling you how many years. Why do I really care? 56 years I've been here, nearly 57. And you know what? I went back home. I'm trying to get the pins in the hole. So I went back home because all my life I thought Australia isn't home. Home is like England. And I went back home to visit the rallies. All of the rallies. I don't know that there were many I missed. <laughs> my auntie and uncle Shaw made sure of that. <laughs> And, you know, because it's a bit exciting, someone from Australia who's lived there all, you know, lived here all their life, coming back to visit all the relatives in England. And, oh, I don't know, this was, when was that? Yeah, 2000. 2000 was when I came back to England to visit. And, honestly, it was amazing. It was like, oh yeah, this is where I'm from, and oh wow, my uncle sounds just like my dad. And yeah, because we grew up, we grew up here without family. We we just grew up. Mum and Dad came over, and with my brother and I, and that was it. We just didn't have any relatives. We didn't know anyone. I like this. I don't think it fits there. Might fit there. Might need distressing. Yes, so that's what happened. We came here and so yeah, it was weird. It was weird to go back and visit. But the point of it is cup of tea is the point that I started talking about. To this day, I still prefer a cup of tea. I <laughs> don't drink coffee. <laughs> cup of tea is my comfort when I'm upset. A cup of tea is what does it. <laughs> really, honest. <laughs> a cup of tea helps me out. That might be a bit difficult to tear that one. Um, so I got distracted from where in this book I was putting those teacups because I couldn't work it out, and then I couldn't didn't want to move on till I kind of finished this little panel. So I did have many a cup of tea when I visited. <laughs> everywhere, everywhere. I, I, my auntie and uncle put on a big family sort of... On my, my auntie and my uncle on my mother's side, so her sister and husband, uh, put on a big thing for me, let me stay at their house, which was lovely. Um, had all the relatives that I didn't know over. So we all had a bit of a meet and greet, which was pretty overwhelming, I must say. Going from having no family to all of a sudden being around about, you know, so many people telling me all the stories of my mum growing up and their 
who's related to whom, but that was fun anyway. Did I have a card? Did I have a card for that or not? Did I? Have, yes, I did. Here it is. There we go. That's nice. All right, that's. Oh, that's a bit stiffer. Okay, so embellishments later. Just getting the basics, getting getting all the bits. All right, that that's not working for me. But that's not going to be easy. Oh, I'm going. Oh, don't do this at home, folks. Just a gentle. Very gentle bit. So Nearly. Give that a bit of a rub and get the excess off. Okay. That's better. Um, still embellishments needed. Got this too, and oh, still a bit to go, isn't there? But still haven't got the tea teacup covered. I think they might just have to go on the front here. I don't see why not. Anyway, my auntie let me borrow her car to go down to St. Ives for a couple of days. So I got down to Cornwall and around that area. Then my other, um, my, my cousin headed off, I just missed him. He headed off to uh, Texas for some work. And so I went and stayed with his wife for a little while and then um, when she left to go to Texas, I looked after their cats for them. And then when they came back, I went off to Ireland, to Dublin, where I drank stout and met girls in the backpackers. <laughs> what else have I got to put on this? Let's put this, let's put more tea cup here. All right, so that's a pocket there, but this whole, this whole area down here can be covered with something a bit larger, I think. Just make sure that I don't cover over that bit. And then what did I do? I came back and I stayed at my other uncle and auntie's place and lovely, beautiful people. Um, they That's my dad's brother and because dad died, so they took me all around uh, to show me where dad had like played cricket and went to school and stuff like that and gave me a proper Devonshire tea. I might have actually told this story before. I'm vaguely remembering I might have. However, if you're new to the channel and you haven't heard this one before, here's a story. <laughs> and anyway, they, they were just so lovely. They were just so nice. Really uh, caring 
<clears throat> and then I went to London for a few days and hung out in the backpackers there, which was horrible after being around their family because everyone was just so rude and so... Whew, didn't really care. They were all very unhappy at that place. <clears throat> thinking I didn't use this before I'm gonna take that out of the way this has been the most complicated little envelopey pockety thing to decorate but you know what I needed to do it sometimes you just need a chunky one don't you you just need a chunky exercise to get you going couldn't sit right up right. I think it's still easy to get the card out All right. uh, yes and then where did I go oh then I went up to visit my other cousin up at York, around that area, and they took me to the sculpture park, so that was good. And it was really nice that a lot of these people kind of had spare rooms as well, so I had somewhere to stay, and it cut down the cost of accommodation. And that was my trip. That was my trip to England. And the thing is, my kids were really young and I think I had, to be honest, I probably had postnatal depression and I just felt very trapped. And I, I'm a, I am a free spirit and so it was very hard. So I actually did, that was me nicking off to have a bit of me time once both the girls were at uh, school, which is kind of bizarre to some people, they probably think, what? Why did you do that? But that's what I needed to do at the time. Um, well, I was going to go mad. Ugh. It's a waste of a window not to let... It would be a waste to cover it up, wouldn't it? Let's just put this one here. It can go all the way along. out a bit weirdly, doesn't it? Right, let's do a hand rip like that.
anyway, it was a great trip. But the, the point of the story is that doesn't you can take you you just can't take Australia out of the girl really because um, coming back home aside from the fact that I missed my kids so terribly maybe I needed to go to realise that but coming back I met them at the zoo we went to the zoo and. I stepped into the zoo to the Australiana exhibition and no joke the smell of the gum trees made me cry I was like oh this is home it's amazing it was amazing it wasn't just seeing my kids it was actually the gum trees Very tricky to cover up. Yet another don't do this at home, folks. So there you are. That was my cup of tea story that went all the way around England, Ireland, and then back to Australia. Didn't get into Scotland. Oh, I know, I did say most of that story when it was during the Scotland day because I was talking about my mum being from Scotland. Oh well, if you heard it twice, sorry. Oh, you know what I just did? Oh, I can't do that. The card's got to go in there. That's a bit silly. Telling stories. bit of green down there, I think. Am I on the camera still? Slowly falling off the edge here. Let's see how we've gone. Oh, there's still more. <laughs> it's a never-ending story. Okay, we've got yes, 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 the cottage, yes, yes, yes. And oh, there's still more on the back. <laughs> Don't do this at home, folks. No, actually, be challenged. Why not? It's good. It's good fun. <laughs> Oops. <laughs>
a bit more apocasery. Which way up did it go? That way. Let's use some good old in index of first lines because we can. Glues are very blobby. Glue stick. I finally, I finally worked through my uh, pile that I had that had been sitting in the garage for a while. Seeing that, now oh, that little row of numbers is cute. I'm going to do something with that. Oh, so cute. Right, let me see. Yes, yes, yes. Now, we've just got this back, which is... I'm not going to do it just yet, because I, I, I get a feeling there's going to be something that I'm going to use that for. So, I'm going to say that that's the end of uh, day 86. Um, I've got cups of tea, got good morning, that, don't ask me why that reminds me of an English cottage, it just does, because it reminds me of England and my family. Uh, we've got the herbs hanging down, we've got a little beautiful bird that might be in the garden of the English cottage, we've got a cute little hidden pocket here with a little cute cottage in, and... I've just put more wildflowers, uh, more cups of tea. Yeah, more, more uh, wildflowers that might be in the garden. That, that's still part of the yesterday's periwinkle blue and coral and neutrals. So there we have it. I was going to say again, don't try this at home, folks. <laughs> Because it's really quite fiddly. But you know what? Give it a go. Why not? <laughs> okay. Good chatting to you. Talk to you later. Bye.